We're going to end the show today with our friends from the Monroe County Sheriff's <laughs> Animal Farm. Now, we've had everything from a sloth to a kinkajou to a python. Well, today we have Olivia the piglet. Jeannie, thank you so much for bringing Olivia with you hey, this you're morning. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, you are no. so welcome. And now tell us about Olivia, Jeannie. Okay, Olivia is a sweet little uh, 12 to 14 week old piglet. Mm -hmm. And we are getting a lot of calls to take in pigs lately at the Sheriff's Animal Farm. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of becoming, an, they were a big craze with the potbelly pigs. And they're kind of becoming a new craze with the smaller, what they call mini pigs and teacup pigs. Mm -hmm. And teacup pigs, when they're born, can be about nine ounces, and so they're about the size of a teacup. Mm -hmm. Problem is, you need to research the genetics of the pig, because same as if you buy a teacup dog, a chihuahua, for example, if you've never seen the parents, mm -hmm. you don't really know how big it's going to get. And a lot of times, the pet shops and the places that are selling them, they want your money, and they're not worried about how big the pig's going to get. Right. Some of these pigs get home and people get them up to 200 pounds. 200 pounds, Jeannie. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I don't so, even know what you would do with a 200 well, pound Well, you pig. call me and unfortunately, yeah. you know, we only have a limited amount of space. Uh -huh. And another thing about these pigs is they, even though they're domesticated, they're considered barnyard animals. Mm -hmm. And our regulations in the city of Key West do not allow barnyard animals within city limits. Okay. So that's okay. very important for people to know as well. Mm -hmm. Now they do make awesome little pets, they're mm -hmm. the fourth smartest mammal. They're actually smarter than dogs. Really? They're really intelligent. They're very clean. Mm -hmm. They don't sweat. Everybody says sweating like a pig. Right. They don't <laughs> sweat. So that's why they lay in the mud or lay in the water. Uh huh. And Olivia, she loves to squeal. Her name's okay. Olivia. So we named her after the children's book character, Olivia the pig, because mm -hmm. the kids recognize that. Mm -hmm. But we're having to feed her some snacks to keep her quiet. Yeah. She I does mean, get very loud, as you heard when we were getting her <laughs> out. When we were getting ready, she was squealing like yes. a pig. Right? She was. <laughs> now, how much does Olivia eat? Because she is going through that bag of snacks. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> a lot of times the, uh, the pet shops or the breeders will tell you not to feed them much because that will keep them small. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when they're small, their bones have to develop so that they can carry their full weight when they're full grown. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't feed them the nutrition they need and give them as much food as they need when they're small, they're not mm -hmm. going to have the bone structure. So you're actually causing them to be malnourished. So she is on free choice food right now at this age, which means she pretty much gets to eat as much as she wants. But mm -hmm. pigs put on weight quickly, and when she gets about two or three more weeks old, mm -hmm. she'll go to a regulated diet where I'll measure out how much food she gets. Because if they don't get a lot of exercise, they don't lose the weight. They just gain it. Right. But she right. runs around a lot now, and she's a growing baby. So mm -hmm. we, have, we have to keep her well fed, as and you how, can see. And how is she around children, Jeannie? She's amazing. Mm -hmm. She loves being around the kids. I took her to National Night Out. That was her debut event up okay. in Big Pine. Okay. And we put her in a cage in the grass, and uh -huh. the kids just petted her, and she would let her belly be rubbed, and she would lay on the ground. And she's going to be so good with the kids. Wonderful. She's really friendly. Some of them, you know, they can be litter trained. They mm -hmm. can be house trained. Some of mm -hmm. them will walk on a leash. Mm -hmm. Then you might get one that it's, you know, they have different personalities. You might mm -hmm. want a pig that's going to walk on a leash and the pig you get may not want to walk on a leash. Right, so, right. Okay. Um, just be prepared that if you get it, you need to be able to know what its needs are, provide it a good home, and they need a yard to run around in. Mm -hmm. They need to root. They mm -hmm. use that nose to root in the ground and that's important for them to be able to root. So right. they and need to, an access to be able to run outside and get some sunshine too. Mm -hmm. And of course, if it gets too big, you can just call Jeannie up at the Monroe County Sheriff's Animal we Farm. We don't recommend <laughs> it. We recommend that you get your information and educate yourself correct. because there are so many out there for sale right now. And unfortunately, people aren't educating themselves and these pigs, some of them get quite large. We think this is a mini. Mm -hmm. We think she might get up to 65 pounds. Mm -hmm. But like I said, she could get up to 120 to 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We haven't seen her parents. Oh. <laughs> right, right. Well, she is so cute. Thank you so You're much for bringing her welcome. on. You're very welcome. She was very good, she so was. I'm happy. Thanks for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, that's going to do it for me this morning, everyone. I thank you for tuning in. Please join me tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.